Hey guys! Hello guys! And welcome back to this new showtime. Showtime yeah, number no five. Number five, exactly. So today we have YouTube, Netflix, music, podcast, Instagram account. Yeah, that yeah. A new category. Yeah. Because we wanted to share people that inspires us throughout our months. So we decided to, to do, sorry, <laughs> a IG category. Yeah. But um, before starting and continuing this podcast, just like the usual, if you like the episode, share it to your friend and family. Okay. We have a IG account, which is What's Up Dude Pod. And it's, it's so beautiful, you know. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> It is really beautiful. And um, if you have any ideas that you want us to talk about or that you want to share, do not forget to send us a message, whether that be in <laughs> DMs, DMs yeah. or, okay. or email. I don't know if you have plenty of whatever. Yeah. If you want to be a guest, anyway, if you want to talk an idea or a concept, whatever. Just you know, let us know. You are, you you are, ooh, you are a piece of this podcast. Of course they are. Of course they are. So let's start with YouTube, right? Yeah. So Leslie, during this month, which you, what YouTube channel did inspires inspire you? Is that it's, it's, English? <laughs> Okay, it's 6 p.m. So sorry because we we talk we've talked all day long. So sometimes our brain uh, is messing is, up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, sure. Okay. So YouTube channels. So I have two YouTube channels for this month. We have, of course, just before uh, all the resources are in the description yeah we made a little like pdf so yeah, check that sure. out yeah so first youtube channel is fifi biznar i don't i don't know if it's like this but anyway she's talented and that's it you know that's what we like uh she's doing covers but just um the instrumental part and it's so calm, so smooth. So, you know, um, yeah. um, I don't know if you know her, Alex. I don't know her. Okay. But, um... Um, but I love her, her background also, which is not the same uh, at each video. But she really got this like chill summer vibe. And that's really, really cool. Okay, so that was the first YouTube channel. The second is, okay, okay, let me pronounce it, is Lucy Allen? 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 I would Allen? say Allen. Okay. Um, sorry, Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so her YouTube channel has grown uh, this past few weeks because, um, you know, the YouTube algorithm, yeah, algorithm. Does, yeah. yeah, does something and... So she does uh, YouTube um, videos, of course, um, such as why I deleted social media forever as a Gen Z, which is the video uh, who made her famous on YouTube. There are also topic topics such as traveling, stoicism, books, languages, and so on. So you should, you should, sorry, you should really check um, this out because I love not just the content, but how she presents it. Yeah, like me she's too. So calm. Yeah, because Alex, Alex knows her too. Because Ooh, you sent me like... a video. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. Okay. So I just wanted to say that if you want, I don't know, to talk about serious topic, she's the YouTuber, I guess. Yeah. Because. Sure. Also, her videos are short, but also very informative and you learn a lot of things through, yeah. through them and they are not boring too, because sometimes mm. some YouTubers, um, do concepts like same, this, but it the same does videos not work. or yeah. content. Yeah. But she so, has a thing, I guess. Yeah. 
like a month ago or uh, like two months I don't know whatever she had sorry who she had like not very much subscribers but uh because of the youtube algorithm yeah that's yeah. it <laughs> uh she can like uh right now when we're recording this she can like 10 thousands even more um subscribers so it's a lot and she deserves it so that's perfect she also has a podcast yeah but okay but we're no. not in the podcast section now yeah thank so... you oh my god <laughs> sorry sorry for breaking this. just just wait like wait okay okay so <laughs> what about you alex this month i've been binge watching a french youtuber which is not normal for me because usually i'm like mm. oh yeah yeah sure i'm watching english um youtubers american australian korean chinese whatever you want but not french and i don't know why but this month i'm, I'm like let's watch some french youtubers so i've been binge watching um louis sans channels because he has three of them um one is louis san where he talks about japanese japanese and japan culture in general and the second one is louis which is the one I've been watching because it is a lifestyle video where um, they are not they are not script, so mm -hmm. he kind of does whatever he wants, and I really like his personality because I don't know he's really funny. He's really um, I would say in French, sans prise de tête. I don't know okay, how to say yeah. that in in English. He doesn't overthink. I think maybe. Yeah. He he does whatever he wants basically it's and chill. Chill, not really, not really, because he does okay. scream a lot in his videos okay. and he's really active and everything no, that chill, I like. like um not, oh, not a serious this... topic. Yeah, like chill like uh, okay, just let's do it, but don't have any pressure. Yeah. You know, that's exactly. And uh, the third one, his third channel is um a channel with another another youtuber another french youtuber called tev so it is louis and tev and they basically do vlogs in japan i don't know they talk about japanese thing and um that's very that's very cool and i've been yeah discovering the japanese culture also because i don't know much about them mm -hmm. so it's been really cool to to binge watch those videos so yeah that is not the only recommendation that I have for YouTube, actually. But um, if you want to learn French, I think you can watch his videos because, um, yeah, they're really great. I don't think he has subtitles, though, so might be hard to understand sometimes. Mm. Because French is hard. It talks super fast, too. Okay. Even for me. Yeah, but even, like, uh, foreign people yeah foreign people always say like french people talk very fast yeah and we're like no that's not true but that's true you know that is very true we talk really fast yeah but anyway our next section is ooh, ooh, ooh. leslie's favorite section yeah that is why i'm going to begin <laughs> yeah and yeah let because... her <laughs> and let her begin. So that is Netflix, of course. If you have listened to this past few times, you know that Leslie is in love with Netflix. Yeah, Netflix. update. Uh, update. They didn't contact me, so I'm kind of disappointed. Still waiting. But, uh, yeah, still waiting. Netflix, I love you. Come on. Please. Please. Like <laughs> us. So, Netflix. I don't have a, a lot to say. <laughs> I think I'm saying that in every show time. I don't yeah, but don't worry. Say. I've I've got something. So, but um, I'm currently watching this C drama, which is a Chinese drama called "Use for My Talent," and um, the story is really I don't know weird, but also cool. It is um, a CEO, which is let me search your word, germophobic. That is the word. So the CEO is basically scared of germs and he's going to meet a girl and 
the usual, you know, the usual. They're going to fall in love, but there is this second character that likes the girl yeah. and the girl does not like him, yeah. but she does like the other yeah. one. So, you know, there is a triangle, a, a love triangle, basically. Yeah. And uh, we also have, I don't know, the story of her father and... Um, I'm not going to say anything if you want to watch it, but that is very interesting. And if you don't like Chinese drama, there is the same one, but in Korean. So if you, I don't know. Yeah, I saw that. Very today. Asian vibes. Today so... I was like, oh, what is this new Korean drama that Netflix is recommending me? And uh, I saw the plot that was the same. I was like, yeah. oh, so that is the same drama, but in Korean. So yeah, that is all I have to say. <laughs> Okay, don't worry. I got this. Uh, four movies for me. This four month. movies, oh my god. Yeah, I, I was like more uh, into movies because it was the final, so just movies, you know, one hour or two. And it's done. The first one is Moxie by Amy. Oh my god. Poehler? Yeah, I think so. Moxie is on Netflix. Okay, like. It's, it's on Netflix because it's Netflix part. Okay, thank you, Leslie. <laughs> so, uh, Moxie, what it is. Uh, so, first, it's a very cheesy teen movie. Uh, yeah, Alex, you will love it. Um, I still need to watch it. It's been <laughs> two weeks and Leslie's like, you need to watch Moxie, Alex. Yeah. You need to watch Moxie. And I'm like, yeah, I will do it. And then... <laughs> yeah, because it's a... It. Yeah, it's a very cheesy teen movie, but with a strong message. So, a very good message about uh, feminism. So, I think... Okay, I'm not uh, the type of girl who like... Oh yeah, I love cheesy movie. Like, the girl, the man. Oh, I love you, but I can't... Uh, okay. Uh, I Please don't like that. mocking us, people that love cheesy <laughs> movies. No, Thank it's you okay, you know. I don't like... And... <laughs> movies like this are here for you and not for me and it's okay you know yeah. uh, so <laughs> what is moxie about so the story is about a shy 16 year old woman who publishes an anonymous uh, sign calling out sexism at her house she was inspired by her mom's uh, rebellions past and a confident new friend uh, at school uh, and so i think it's a really really good story because sometimes you know feminism is not represented in a good way hmm. uh, but in this movie you can clearly understand what it is and also it's not just about women uh, but everybody can participate uh, in this, uh, how do we say that? Movement? Mm, yeah, movement, basically. I just got it in it's okay. French. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it's the same word. Anyway, but every so everybody can participate and you can understand that because in the movie, it's not just about girls who are uh, fighting, but there is also um, a guy uh in this battle so it's it's really cool and if you're young or teen or whatever uh and you don't understand what feminism is it is sorry uh it's a good way okay second one i'm sorry alex if i talk too much no it's okay <laughs> sorry it's okay. so <laughs> the second it's one my is my fault i should have watched more movies <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the second one is The Da Vinci Code uh, by Ron Award and with Tom Hanks. I love this actor. Yeah, me so too. much. So, um, great movie. It's a classic, and I don't know why I had not seen it before. Sorry. Uh, so, what is the story about? It's kind of complicated, okay? So, oh. one night, uh, Professor Robert robert langdon a specialist uh, in the study of symbols is urgently called to the louvre oh so in paris Love beautiful shots like should visit it if you yeah join paris 
Yeah. Uh, the museum's conservators has been murdered, but before he died, he left uh, mysterious symbols. So with the help of cryptolog cryptologist, ooh, it was a hard word, uh, Sophie Neveu, uh, Langdon will investigate and discover the signs uh, hidden in the works of Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, all the clues converge on a religious organization as mysterious as it, it is powerful. Oh, sorry. So ready to do anything to protect the secret capable of destroying uh, a dogma that is 2000 years old. This movie looks so yeah. great because it's like a mystery thing. Yeah. And um, I think I will watch it actually yeah. because um, I don't have this in my recommendation, but I like how you like you told us the story and how it like you maintain not this, gonna lie suspense um, thing and yeah yeah not not gonna lie because it's hard to explain. Um, I searched on Google <laughs> and it helped me. I didn't do it by myself like one hundred percent of it. Yeah, but so still, it, it is a great way to yeah tell us the story. Like I, I think I will watch it because. Leonardo da Vinci is someone who is really mysterious. Yeah. And um, I think we have a lot to learn from him too, mm. even if we did discover And him. I like the fact that he just, in the movie, he just had uh, symbols and that's it. And you have to figure it out. What I think I won't figure it out the thing because I'm, some, me I'm too. dumb, honestly. Yeah, me too. I'm like, what? I don't understand. <laughs> like, bye. The stars, Shallow. okay? <laughs> then, <laughs> you know, what do you want movie... me to do with the stars? <laughs> yeah. The movie is 10 minutes with me, you know? Like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, okay. yeah, it's in Paris, in London, in Scotland, in many places. And that's great because you travel ooh, a little bit. So, yeah. Something we can't do right now. But anyway, the next movie for you, Leslie, what is um, the next movie? Just, I want to say, sorry, I speak a lot. Uh, it's okay, this it's movie, okay, you do that because, Guys, please, um, it's okay if I don't speak a lot today. It's okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Not worry um, for me. <laughs> I, I watched this movie, The Da Vinci Code, because actually uh, we worked on it at college, like not on it like for oh, real, really, but we, we've talked about it because um, we've talked um, what way uh, films uh, have, yeah, have an impact for tourism. Oh, and you this know? one? Yeah, The Da Vinci Code, Harry Potter, and you know, all the stuff. So it's a great way. Anyway, third movie, a classic. Catch Me If You Can by Steven Spielberg, Spielberg oh, sorry, and with oh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, <laughs> again, a classic one. Which so I've in the... Yeah. Not seen? I have not seen this one, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, in the 1960s, a uh, young Frank Abagnale Jr. Uh, became a master of fraud. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Even embezzling, I discovered this word, embezzling uh, $2.5 million and being listed by the FBI as one of the 10 most wanted in the, uni in the United, Sta United States. Okay, oh my God. So you, can, you can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. So Frank Hassim's uh, identities as diverse as airline pilot, doctor, university professor, and assistant U.S. attorney. So Carl, Carl Anreiti, a strict-looking FBI agent, makes the hunt for this man uh, his top pri priority, but he remains untraceable for years. Okay, and this story is a true story. That, that's what I was going to ask. Is that based on, real, uh, on yeah. a real story? Yeah. Yeah, sure. That is very scary then. Yeah. <laughs> that is yeah, very and, scary. And I thought 
I think, sorry, I think um, he em, em, embezzled. Oh my god! I'm I don't so even sorry. know what is the meaning of this word, so you have to explain <laughs> this to it's me. It's like in after, French, it, it's like um, contourner. Okay. Like he pas contourner. Wait. Soutirer. I'm gonna search because today it is a French lesson, guys. <laughs> Learning what em embezzling embezzling <laughs> embezzling mean. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, I can't. Okay, okay. Let me search. Um, B. Okay. Oh gosh. Embezzle. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's like détourner. Okay. It's okay. So take by fraud. Okay. okay. So two point five million dollars, and he had like a nineteen years old, I think, twenty years. He old. was he was tw nineteen years old when he yeah did something like that. Like he was <laughs> two very point five million dollars. Yeah, he was very young. But what did he do with the money? You have to watch the movie. Okay, it's okay. It's it's with the Leo. So yeah, it's Leo. You know, I don't mind. Watching say, his pretty say, face on say, the screen. <laughs> <laughs> you say that like it's our G, you know, like, our yeah, our yeah, friend, yeah. you Leo. And I know you're listening one. though, so thank you. <laughs> okay. Anyway, the last one. Okay, uh, more serious one. Uh, it's called Monster by An 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 Okay Anthony. One, two, three. Anthony Mandler and with uh, Kelvin Harrison Jr. and Jared Jarrell Jerome. Okay, so the last one was um, the same actor who played Curry Wise in the series When They See Us. If you ha haven't watched this series, what are you waiting for? Like, <laughs> are you calling me out? <laughs> <laughs> when They See Us is such a great uh, oh, series. No, my yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, you know, I, I yeah, told yeah, yeah. you like a hundred times. I think 100 my parents times. did watch that. Yeah, and it's so it's about the true story. So it's even more emotional. And it's like four episodes, so it's great. Anyway, uh, Monster. Monster has come out this month on Netflix. Uh, the story deals with um, Steve Arman, a brilliant 17-year-old high school student whose word falls apart um, when he is accused of murder. So the film follows the descent into hell of this likable Harlem film student who joins a prestigious high school before being caught up uh, in a complex legal battle that could land him in prison for the rest of his life. I also need... How do we say um, sadly? Okay, sadly, I also need to um, specify something. Stephen is an Afro-American, so that's not the sad thing, but the th the sad thing whoa, uh, is um, that you can do a trial without talking about racism and prejudices that uh, he may suffer due to his color. Of his skin, so that's it's really hard to watch, to be honest. Uh, and I saw comments on this movie, and it was not that good. But you still okay. watch it anyway. Okay, let me rephrase. Okay. I saw comments on this movie, and these comments were not like they were. Oh yeah, uh, I don't really like um, the um, the plot. La voix off. <laughs> Um, okay, let me search. Ooh, <laughs> French class again. Uh, so it's a voiceover. Ah, yeah. So they were like, Oh, I don't like that. And... <laughs> a word that we know, but um, okay. And I was like, No, it's uh, a really good movie for me, even though sometimes we are not going deeply in this story uh but it's still a great movie so yeah i think you should watch it 
sorry i was <laughs> okay i was during thank you. you so yeah yeah it was long okay sorry no that was not it i'm just tired but that's okay okay so <laughs> Okay, you actually. So it's um, the end of this uh, Netflix board. I thought you were going to say that is the end of the podcast. Bye. No, 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 no. So guys, you have a lot of movies and series to watch. So you also, say that you... like it's you say that like it's homework. Okay, you, you have, have a lot to watch. Okay, <laughs> by next month you need to watch these four <laughs> things. No, but um, if you have any comments to. Um, I don't know, tell us about like the movies that we have recommend. You can also yeah, sure. DM us. But the you next struggle with this word. Yeah, because yeah. I have the word in French and um, I'm always thinking, how can I say that in English? But that is DMs, direct messages. I don't even, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> the next section is my favorites. Music section. Um, today, well, not this month, we have a Spanish Latino singer that I really like. She's called Tini. T I N I. Can you stop mocking me, Leslie? <laughs> no. And you're I'm like, just moving. Oh okay. my God. And the title of her song is Mienteme, which is a lie to me in English, and it is by herself and the singer Maria Becerra so it's going to be in um, in the description if you don't understand it's what I'm not saying. a very good piece of advice to be honest like lie to me yeah no, no. but the, the story is like they're talking about this guy who is lying to them like he's having other relationship and so that's why it's called lie to me okay miente me and uh, if you like Spanish music and Latino music, um, go for it, honestly, because um, I've like I liked it, so that's why I'm sharing it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything to say about this song, but I just like it, so yeah. I just want to share it to you guys. Okay. And um, my second song is by the famous girls band Little Mix, um, and the song is Confetti by fe featuring Sweetie. Yeah, that is Sweetie. S A W E E T I E, and um, yeah, they're just super talented. Honestly, I don't have anything to say about this song. Um, I think I've I used to listen to their song, the Little Mix songs, but then two years ago I stop I stopped because um, like I don't know, they were not that catchy anymore. But with this comeback, I think I'm going to like them more, and also. Um, now there are three of them because one of them has um, have left the group, so that is very sad. But they're stronger now, and um, yeah, if you like this a bit, um, I don't know, dancing type of music, you can still listen to Confetti. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was funny. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so um, great. I have three songs this uh, has a lot today yeah i was in a good mood i'm still is so the first one is uh, in spanish too uh ojo que no te ojo uh which is i hate not hating you yeah i don't know yeah that's it uh by lasso and cami so it's typically a love song okay you got it uh i don't have anything to say okay so <laughs> i'm just gonna tell you the three songs i'm sorry um say it to my face by so so Soran, yeah. Soran, yeah i like i like him so much yeah and of course uh your power like i mean your power by uh billy Eilish, but did I to do I to mention? Do I to mention? Yeah, that's it. Did she need to mention that she's a Billie Eilish fan? No, because we already know that. Ooh, got the book. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the um, podcast part. 
Oh, you don't have anything to say about the Billie Eilish song? No, like, I mean, everybody that knows, like... <laughs> You're gonna hate me because... <laughs> oh my god. You haven't watched it. <laughs> I haven't heard it. I'm sorry, so that's the end of the entire podcast. Oh no, we're breaking up. Yeah. Flat twist. yeah. <laughs> No, you, but haven't I will. you haven't no. heard. You haven't heard about. Are you I, kidding I've me? Heard that she... I did not listen to her song. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> if you if you guys could see the face that she's making at me, she's like, "I'm so disappointed in you, Alex." Yeah. Uh, I'm. I don't want to be your yeah. friend anymore. Yeah. No, no, I'm sorry, but no, well, it's okay. But you know, you you have you have to. Okay. Um. <laughs> I have to. So, the podcast board, the, the famous podcast podcast board, um, the long so the podcast we only have one, the long distance by Lucy Allen. Uh, so the YouTuber that we've talked about and her bro her oh my god, her boyfriend Emilio. Uh, which does not live in the same country as her. So that explains the name of the podcast, Long Distance, right? Okay, so they talked about uh, distant re relationships, how they met, love language, and it's very new and it's every Sunday. So, so it's perfect. Okay, do you have anything to say? Because Alex knows uh, this podcast too. Um, I only listened to two episodes, I think. Yeah. Yeah, two episodes. I did not so listen to... So you have to... also... Oh my god, what do you do? Do you do your... Do you... During oh my, my free god, time? Me. <laughs> during my free time? Um, what do I do during my free time? I, no, I mean, you have a lot thing. to do right now. Like watch Moxie and uh, catch me if you can, and the Da Vinci <laughs> Code, and listen to Billy. And oh my God. did you know that I've sacrificed one day to watch ten episodes of my of my K drama, no C drama? Sacrifice. <laughs> oh, okay, don't lie to us. Okay, sacrifice. Sacrifice. Is that <laughs> even the word? Because I'm like, okay, same yeah, I think so. Fine. Uh, do I have a podcast that I want to share to our... Oh, listeners? if you want to talk about the long distance. I don't have anything to say. Sacrifice. Because, um, sacrifice. Sacrificed? Yeah. Sacrifice. It's just a new type of podcast because I've never seen such a podcast like doing, you know, talking about long distance. Yeah, sure. And also, I think uh, there is um, the visual part on YouTube. Yeah, because, so, yeah, so you can see their faces if you yeah. want to. And, uh, I don't know, I don't know what I want to, I don't, I don't have anything to say about this podcast. Okay, that's okay, you can. It's just so good to listen and chill on the Sunday. Sure. Yeah, I did have a lot of things to say about her YouTube, but not her podcast. Okay. So okay. Can I, can, can I begin the last part? Yeah. Instagram yeah, account, ding, ding, ding. So, uh, Instagram account, I only have one. Uh, so it's she traveled the word, like uh, the entire phrase, sentence. Oh, sorry. I think uh, it say yeah, phrase. I think so, but just to be sure. Yeah. <laughs> so she <laughs> she she has beautiful pictures yeah. and give um gives oh tips for traveling especially if you're single and a woman which can be dangerous sometimes let's be honest she also talks about uh self-confidence body positivity and so on i don't know just i think she she has good vibes you know yeah. like her account is so cool i just like it pretty pictures and she has a beautiful smile too yeah and uh, she makes you want to travel the world, actually. Mm. It's very sad. Hopefully one day we can do an episode in another country. That would be so Ooh. great. And hopefully one day we can do an episode in real 
real quick. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't know if you know that, guys, but um, since we have started this podcast, we've never recorded in real no. life. Actually, since we started this podcast, we have seen each other two times. Yeah. Once. Two times. No. Uh, twice. Twice? twice. Yeah. Yeah, at the beginning of January and at the beginning of May. For yes. exams. Yeah. <laughs> Great context. Oh. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. I don't have any Instagram account to recommend. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. But maybe next next month. I was going yeah. to say maybe next year. But Oof. no, maybe next month. And um yeah. I think it was a great show time. Yeah. Because we did speak a lot of we did speak a lot about <laughs> a lot of different We did speak of, a lot, I don't know. <laughs> we did speak a lot about different type of um con content. Content you yeah. can do it. Content and um yeah. Did I no. I did not mention that I have finished this book that I've been talking for three months about. Yeah, yeah. So I finished it. If you know, you know, guys. Kind of. Do you want to? Do you want to talk about it or? No. <laughs> <laughs> Often people say yes to this question, and they're like, "Yeah, sure." So the name is, and you're like, "No, don't really." Okay, bye. <laughs> No, not really. It was just good. If you know what which book I'm talking about, then then it's great for you. <laughs> it means that you are a how can I say that? A follower. A I weekly, what... a monthly a monthly follower. Yeah, a follower to yeah. yeah. So yeah. That was a very great episode. Yeah? Was it? Sure. So thank you for listening again to this new not new. Anyway, thank you yeah. for listening. Yeah. <laughs> it was really fun. Um, yeah, it was the first time that we record on the on the evening, afternoon ish. I don't know. Yeah. So maybe maybe our energy um, is different, but I did like it. And uh, yeah, can you or do you wanna end? Again, yes. ooh. So okay, guys. Uh... <laughs> dude, I'm sorry. I always say guys, but anyway. Thank you, uh... dudes. <laughs> so subscribe and share and go to our IG because it's great. It's fun. It's sweet. And and if you want to talk, like DMs or well, you know, you know the song. So yeah. So just. Have a great day. Have Alex great did night. it at the beginning of the episode. So. True, true. And if you're still here, you're great. Congrats. You. Yeah. You're a real <laughs> yeah. dude. Run of applause. <laughs> Woo! Anyway, goodbye, guys. Bye bye. Oh my god, why this um, sadly bye? Goodbye, guys. <laughs> See you bye. Next month. <laughs>